and welcome to a new tutorial on trading Shenzhen. I want to show you today how to install a Xiaomi fast boot ROM on your device. Before we start with the tutorial, I want to clear up some questions our customers had before. The first question is, what's the difference between a fast boot and a touch recovery Xiaomi U ROM? And the main difference is that the fast boot ROM can only be installed and updated with a PC. Of course, there are some scripts and today you can use the scripts in Mac, Linux and Windows, but you have to use a PC. A touch recovery ROM can be installed and updated on the device himself. Another question is what you need to install such a firmware version. It's pretty simple and easy. You need just an unlocked device and how to do it. We have made a big tutorial which we link down in the description. And it doesn't matter if you come from a Chinese ROM or you come from a touch recovery version Xiaomi U ROM. You can install it on any other ROM when your device is unlocked. Also a lot of customers ask us if there are over the air updates with the fast boot version. And this is not possible because the version and the updates have to be made with a PC. Over the air means usually you have to make it on the device and this is not possible therefore you have to have a PC. You can do it in Linux and Mac and Windows but you have to connect the device to the PC to make the updates. With the installation comes the question do I lose all the data which I have on the device and no you don't have to because there are usually two scripts. The first script is the first install wipe data and this script yes. This is usually used when you install it the first time or you make a switch from one ROM to another ROM and you wipe the whole device. Everything gets cleaned. But the usual update script keeps all the data on the device. So all your files, all your settings, all your apps are kept on the device. Only the system, the firmware, the OS system is updated. And the last question is, can I switch between touch recovery and fast boot version? And yes, so this is possible because when you use the update script, it updates only the system, not your files, not your settings. And you can update it, update it over and over again. And when a new touch recovery version comes out, you install the touch recovery version and you update the system with this files and with the same with the fast boot system. So you can switch between both versions when you use all the time the update script and everything stays. Now let's start with the installation and this is pretty easy. You go on the Xiaomi website and you click on stable because we recommend the stable one, not the weekly ones. You search for your device. Right now a lot of devices have, have fast boot versions. You download the zip file on your PC and there you have to extract it to a folder. Then click in the folder and you see all the scripts to install the firmware version. You have a script for Mac, for Linux and for Windows. And you have also a script for first install and update. If you have a version before, just click the update and only the system will be updated. Here in this case, we have a new Xiaomi 12 and we want to install it on the first time. So we have to do it with the first install script. Now we have to put the device into fast boot mode and this is pretty easy. We just hold the power button and the volume rocker down as long as it boots new and then usually fast boot is written on the device. In the old version there was a Me Too, now it's only fast boot. Now we plug in the device onto the PC and start the script, the first install script and it runs around like 5 to 10 minutes. Usually in the end you boot into the system and you get a black screen where you have two buttons. On the bottom you can enter your Wi-Fi settings and the top you can enter your MyWi account. Then you can go into the normal settings menu. Here was no MyWi account on the device so I was straight into the settings menu and you can go through over it and on the end you will have a new fresh installed Xiaomi U fast boot ROM on the device. The same, of course, when you update it, everything will stay and you don't have to go through all the settings, all your apps, all your settings and all your files will be on the device. And I think this is the easiest way to install a Xiaomi fast boot ROM. I think it's pretty simple and I hope we could help you a little bit with the tutorial. If you have some questions, just write in the comment sections. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for listening and we see you in the next tutorial.